love to talk about the pen. I love your writing style, man. What do you bring to the table as a writer? I'm pushing P, baby. P stands for pen, okay? <laughs> we love it. We love it. Hey, Bay Squad. It's your girl, Brooke Bright, going live with the Bree Talk. And Bay Squad, we have to talk about y'all favorite tea sipper, Lovely Tea. Yeah, I'm side-eyeing y'all. Spilling tea on which she believes Nicki Minaj is behind her and her team. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? TikTok, she need to put that out because that shit is in my head. Hold on. Because uh, this here was a nasty song. He loved it when I put a little bit of panties on. I'm like, let me put it on Because this here is a nasty song. He loved it when I pull up with no panties on. She, she need to put that song out. She need to put that song out. Because I cannot stop singing it. I sing it to my nigga all the time. Let's see it. It's sad. But I, I feel bad for Lotto that 130 of her songs leaked. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the situation, I don't think it was okay to leak her music because that's still music that they were working on and trying to surprise the fans with that now it's not a surprise to anyone or people really going to go out and stream it and buy it. No. So I think it was done on purpose and I feel like Nikki and her team were definitely behind it because I, it's not, I don't think it was okay to leak Lotto's music. I, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. But, um, Look, somebody gonna look, somebody gonna say Nikki innocent. Well, I mean, it's just I don't. I just find it interesting that she's quiet. Her nemesis is being, you know, embarrassed, and Nikki just she's quiet. No, she's somewhere in the background sipping tea. She she's she reminds me of uh, who's the girl from Mean Girls, Regina George. You know how she like threw all the papers, showing all the receipts from the burn book, and then just walked off casually into the sunset while the whole school went crazy and was fighting each other. That's Nikki. She just released all these tracks and now the girls are fighting it out and trying, uh-uh, I write my own music. Why I write my own music? Oh, it's a reference track. That's literally how that just played out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I don't think it was. Woo, see, this is why they call you unlovely tea because you sitting up on Beyonce's internet lying and then you're putting these release tracks at Nicki Minaj's feet. How dare you? You're too big and grown to even be doing this. But I have to blame you because you were a part of that Tasha K mess and you were the op. And because of that, I feel like you're looking for a Tasha K moment because Tasha K went up against your homegirl, Guadalupe, and she came out a winner. She came out victorious. Yeah, there might be a $4 million um, settlement over Tasha K's head, but Tasha K has been thriving. She's been flourishing, like you said about Lotto. Lotto has no fans. I need you delusional content creators to understand that. She has no fans. And if she did, they would buy her music. They would buy her music. Stop trying to get some clickbait off of Nicki Minaj and the Barbs. It's not going to work, lovely T. Miss Unlovely. We don't like Lotto. She literally calls somebody a granny and she looks like she's 55 plus. She's looked like she's eligible for the senior citizen discount. She was the one out on the internet talking about flourishing and she's flopping. She's hitting that floor hard and fast. We do not care about scratch off. 
Okay. And while you sitting up here trying to have a moment, maybe you should call up your homegirl while she's out here dancing in her bare ass house, caping for lotto to, you know, maybe send her some support and some sisterly women's empowerment. But you won't do that because we know she doesn't stand for that. Y'all want Nikki to care so bad about these rap girls who don't even care about themselves. They put themselves in these struggle deals. They have to literally sell puss because that's what it's given. It's given selling puss because there's no talent. There's no nothing. And from the looks of it, Lotto can barely read after that um, interaction we see with her and Nicki Minaj. I was just like, oof, oof, it's given remedial. And you want us to believe that Nicki Minaj is the reason her 130 songs are leaked? Child, it's given sympathy and payola, which you know all too well about because your homegirl baskets in it. She gloats in it. Leave Nicki alone. She's thriving. She's doing something the girls can't do. Flourish. You know, she has deals something the, the newbie should be figuring out. And if their music hit the internet, they should ask their weak ass labels, how come? Because the labels aren't making money. So maybe they're trying to ruin the artist. Did you ever think about that? Or are you one of them? It's giving you one of them a lovely tea. And that's why I don't respect you. And that's why I'm always going to be team Tasha K. Even though this has nothing to do with Tasha K. But I find it surprising that you want to talk about mean girls. And we saw how you was acting. But anyways, y'all. What are your thoughts on this space? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I have to go. Bye, hoes.